Hey again from the garden, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. If you are new to my channel, I grow cut flowers in Zone 5A in Northwest Iowa. And today is Tuesday, which is market day. So I am out here harvesting the rest of the flowers I need for my market. Now at my market, I'm currently offering two types of bouquets. I have a full market bouquet that I offer for $15. And a few weeks ago, I started offering mini bouquets. I got this idea from Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. Um, I'm not sure what hers looks like but she mentioned she offered mini bouquets that the kids like to purchase and some people will purchase it as an add-on and I thought that is a really good idea not just for add-on sales but to also use some of the shorter flowers that I have um, so I have been doing it the last couple weeks and they have absolutely been a hit in fact all of my mini bouquets sold out last week in probably 20 minutes so I need a lot more this week in addition to my full size bouquets. So I thought I would just show you guys some of the things I'm harvesting for my mini bouquets. Um, I'm going to start over here in my fever few patch. So let me show you what that currently looks like. So this is my current fever few patch. It has been blooming for maybe four to five weeks. The first stems of fever few that I had were really, really long, nice and full. Now these second and third flushes I am getting are much shorter, which they are still really good looking. Let me find a good example here for you. So like this one, for example, and I would cut a couple of these side branches off. This is a stem that I could never use in a full market bouquet, but with my mini bouquets, I am able to utilize some of the shorter blooms. So I'm pretty much letting this patch bloom so I can harvest as much as possible today. Then I'm probably gonna end up tearing it out and putting something else here. But for my mini bouquets, if I tuck one or two of these in addition to the flower, other flowers that I'm using, which I'll show you after I'm done harvesting, this is such a nice little accent and it's already growing, so I might as well use it. So I'm just go, gonna go ahead and harvest a whole bunch of these. See, these are just perfect to tuck two into my mini bouquets. I love just the little pop of white and yellow. And everyone seems to ask, what's the miniature daisy? Well, it's the fever few. So I'm gonna harvest as much of this as possible, then we'll move on to the next area. Okay, so the next thing that I'm harvesting is zinnias. And zinnias are something that work really, really good in these mini market bouquets. Um, a lot of my zinnias are just starting to branch out and get some nice height on them. So I have a lot of zinnias that, you know, if I cut them too far down, I'm going all the way down to the base of the plant, which is not a bad thing, um, but I don't, I also don't want to take that whole plant away. So zinnias are a really easy thing to get, you know, maybe a, six to 12 inch stem and it's a perfect also um, price item for the mini bouquets. So for example, I have a patch of this Queen Lime series and I have one in here that is definitely ready to go but it has a taller branch coming off the side of it that I don't want to cut. So if I just cut this, I have maybe a six to eight inch stem. This is perfect for my mini bouquets. And so I just like to go through my whole patch, pick a ton of these. Sorry if you can hear the traffic on the street. Um, on the outside of my garden, there's a lot of traffic going on right now. But anyway, I like to pick a ton of these and then I will put five of these together with some filler and that is my mini bouquet. Oh my gosh, I am just noticing I have some dahlias blooming. I'm gonna have to pick that one and show you guys. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna continue going through here. Here's one. So here's five right here. Oh, if I can get him. Okay, here's another really good one. And these Queen Lime series, I like to mix them all together and they make the prettiest color palette. So I need to start making a pile. I'm gonna just clip a whole bunch of these and then I will clean them and I'll get, start making those bouquets inside for you guys. I know I've mentioned in my other videos too, when you are harvesting zinnias, you need to do the wiggle test. If your flower sways back and forth really easily when you're harvesting it, it's not ready and it's gonna wilt right away. So you wanna make sure 
to do that wiggle test when you're cutting them. Like here's a Benarese Giant that is maybe six to eight inches long. That's a perfect one for the mini bouquets. Here's another one. It's got branches on the side and I want those to be the long ones. This would never make it in a market bouquet. It's way too short, so it's perfect. And you know, I could make myself little small bouquets and take home, but why not sell them and make money? Get off of there, grasshopper. All right. I'm gonna add these to the pile. These queen lime reds just turn a mauve color. They are my absolute favorite. And there is a ton of them right now. Actually helps that I'm cutting a bunch of these because they are taking over my pathway. I really also love these queen lime peach. They have been just so pretty this year. I like to pair them with the green zinnia that's called Envy. It makes just the most beautiful color combination. Now my mini bouquets I sell for $5, which again is a really good price point. It's a really easy way to use up a lot of these short flowers. Last week I had a bunch of them and they sold out in 20 minutes and so this week I decided I needed a lot more. I had people wanting to buy multiples. I have a wooden sign, um, which I'll put a picture up on the screen and it says full bouquets for $15 and mini bouquets for $5. And I would have people walk up and say, three mini bouquets please. And I would have to say, I'm sorry, I'm sold out. Like they didn't even look to see what I offered. They just saw that on the sign. So I definitely need to have more this week. Okay, I think I have a really good pile. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off and this video will pick back up inside when we're putting all of these together. I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I use. Okay, so I am back inside my studio and it's time to make all of these mini market bouquets. I already have my full size bouquets made. Um, these go for $15. They're wrapped in an 18 inch square sheet of craft paper. So these are done. Now it's time for my mini bouquets. So I'm gonna get started on these. Let me show you what I put in them. So this is the bucket of zinnias that we just harvested outside. I also have a few more in here. Um, I have a couple Rudbeckia. These are so pretty. I also have some Rudbeckia left over from the full size market bouquets that I was making um, that I thought maybe weren't quite long enough. This is all the fever few that we harvested. I have some status, which is a really fun texture for these. I have some leftover yarrow, which some of it's wilting, so I'm gonna have to recut this and I think just keep hydrating it. Um, some leftover zinnias that I didn't use in my bouquets. And then I have some snapdragons. So these are gonna be really fun. So the mini bouquets I sell for $5. They were super popular the last couple weeks, as I mentioned before. So I think that I need more for this week. Um, last week I think I took maybe seven or eight, so not a ton. I still want people to buy my big ones, so I didn't want to take a bunch, but I literally could have sold probably 10 more. Um, I just didn't really know if they were gonna be that popular, so I didn't want to overdo it, but now that I know, I am definitely doing more this time. So, um, these I wrap the same way as my big bouquets, except I use a much smaller piece of paper. These are roughly a 10 by 10 inch square, and then I just fold it in half, kind of offset, there is a fly flying right in front of my camera and I hope it's not um, gonna just land on the lens. So if you see me watching something, it's that fly on the camera. Um, but anyway, so the way that I do these is as I definitely keep it to a $5 value. So I'm gonna start with a filler in the middle. Let's just start with a nice big piece of status. So this is gonna be the filler for this one. And then I'm gonna use probably three zinnias so let's do one two these are all kind of purples and then i'm going to put one little snapdragon and that is pretty much it um 
I do like to tuck in a piece of feverfew, kind of like as a little added little freebie, I guess, just because see how that adds just a little bit of texture to it even more. Um, but this is it for the mini bouquets. They are so easy. So let me trim this. I'm gonna put a rubber band around it and then I'll show you how the paper goes around it. Okay, so I'm gonna rubber band it. And then this little piece of paper, I wrap it around once and staple it. And then I'm just gonna simply fold it over I staple it one more time, usually right at the top. And then sometimes it doesn't lay flat, so I will use my sticker to kind of hold that tab down so it's on the side. And that is it. That's just my little $5 bouquet. Now, yes, these are kind of priced at wholesale pricing. If I would sell wholesale zinnias, it'd be a dollar a piece. Um, a Snapdragon a little more, you know, with a little extra filler. Um, but these are a really easy way to use my short flowers and get a little extra income. And what I take to display these in is just random um, mason jars and vases. I can put one or two in each one. And then as I sell them, I just dump the water out and, you know, kind of move all of my product together. All right, let's do one with these two little short Rebecca. So I definitely want to use some feverfew in this one. I think I'll use two pieces. And then let's use two of these peach zinnias. I think that that might be good. Let's say, oh, I'm gonna use this little green one. This one's really long, but it's this tiny little green zinnia. Oh no, never mind. I don't like that. Let's put, let's put one more in because I have a ton of these peach zinnias. All right, so a little feverfew, a couple Rebecca, and those zinnias. Last week I had people buying, um, buying them as gifts. I also had um, like a mom buy a full-size bouquet, but then she got a little bouquet for her daughter's room. So they were just a really easy little extra add-on. Now again, I kind of got this idea from Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. She mentioned that she did $5 bouquets. Now I have no idea what hers look like, um, but she kind of gave me the inspiration to try this. Isn't that just so pretty? This one almost looks like fall. Well, I'm gonna keep going on these and then I'm gonna show you all the different ones that I have put together when I'm done and how many that I've come up with. Okay, so I'm done with all of my miniature bouquets. I made 16 and I think they turned out amazing. So I did a combination of mostly Xenia, Snapdragons, Feverfew, and Status. I have some with Rebecca in there. Like, look at how pretty this one is. That is three Snapdragons, one Rebecca, a little Yarrow, and a little Feverfew. I just think that is so pretty. This one is another one of my favorites. I love that one too. And then I did use, this one has some bupleurum in it. This was a stem of bupleurum that was really curved. It was not staying up in my netting when it grew out in the garden. So I harvested it, but I just thought it was way too curved to be able to use in one of my um, regular size bouquets. So I cut it down really short and was able to use it in one of these miniature bouquets. So that is a really good way to use some of those stems that maybe you can't use. Then you can make mini bouquets. So I have, you know, all kinds of colors. I have a lot that are this, um, this one got really wet. I may have to rewrap that one, but this, um, I have a lot that are the queen lime combination with the pale yellow um, snapdragons. I have some that are the bright red and yellow with the Benary's giant. And how I will display these is I have some vases here and then I have one, this is kind of dorky, but I have one Tupperware container where I can have them laid out. And then once say, you know, this one sells, I'll take one from here and put it in the vase. So it looks a little better, but 
I just don't have enough vases um, to set them all out and I thought this was an easy way to display them all in one spot and then as they sell I'll just move them forward so Anyway, that is what I am doing along with my big market bouquets. I hope this video was helpful and maybe gave you um, a couple extra ideas on how to use those shorter flowers once your plants are just getting going for the season. And I will, at the end of this video, let you know how these all sold. So it's time to pack up for the market. So I better get ready. All right, so it is the next day and last night's market went really, really well. I sold 14 of those mini bouquets. I took 16, I sold 14 of them, and then I sold the rest of my full size bouquets, which is always the goal. You know, I always wanna sell those larger size bouquets, but the mini bouquets has been such a nice add-on for that little extra profit. So I'm gonna to continue to offer those for the rest of the season. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, maybe gave you some ideas on how to use those stems that are too short for the large bouquets, or maybe you know have a bend in them and you can't use them for a full bouquet, it's okay to cut them off short and then you can put together something little and sell them that way for some extra profit. It's worked really good for me so far. So anyway, stay tuned for a lot more flower farming, of course, throughout the entire season. I have so much going on right now. In fact, I have about six custom orders I need to put together today. So it's gonna be a busy afternoon. Um, so anyway, stay tuned for lots more. We'll see you soon.